Bob Donner, who uh, you remember mostly from Mork and Mindy, played an outrageous character named Exeldor, and he's been a fixture here at the Foster Brooks Pro Celebrity for a couple years. Now, you've just finished a film at this at this moment with the Hudson Brothers? Yeah, I just finished a picture with the uh, Hudson Brothers. It's called Hysterical. God knows we hope it will be. If it won't be, it'll be guitar picks in the morning. <laughs> well, I like your sense of comedy. You, uh, you have a variety. Uh, you have a deadpan set of comedy. That I you think like. bizarre is the bizarre, word. Right. Bizarre. Off is the, the wall. Word. Yes. Off the wall. I like ad lib comedy. Which is very difficult, is it not? Well, I think you have to be prepared, and you have to uh, have a certain amount of courage, because if it doesn't work, you're stuck with it. By courage. Now, do you get blue at all? It, no, it, it no, suggested no on this program i do a, a talk show and ordinarily it's a phone-in program but when right. we have you nice people sh from show business we just talk for a while but on this program a week or so ago we talked about uh dick Pryor's sunset strip show and i had read uh, some big reviews of it and then uh jack parr had appeared on network television and someone asked him who made him laugh and they asked him about dick Pryor. And he said, uh, I, I, I don't appreciate um, all of his dirty language. I, he doesn't need it. It wasn't funny. And I didn't know what he was talking about until I had occasion to see Dick Pryor on his cable show. And it seemed to me, too, that this was a talented man who repeated the same four-letter words that we all know. And I wondered why, after 20 times, they were still laughing at it, you know. Well, in my case, Milton, it's not the four-letter words. It's those 12-letter words <laughs> that get my way. Uh, it, I have all, I, when I was getting started, the word was that it's very easy to be blue. In other words, dirty, you can get jokes, you can get laughs with dirty jokes very easily. It's tough to be funny yes. and be clean. Right. That, that was the word at that time. Now, times have changed. Uh, if, if you think Lenny Bruce has only been dead, what, 10, 12 years right. in that area? And that the, what Lenny Bruce was doing on a stage at that time would be looked on today as nothing. Right, right. Uh, I think everybody makes their own choices. I think Richard Pryor is a tremendously funny man. I don't think he needs those references. I think... You're, I think like, you're like impromptu... Uh, comedians such as Jonathan Winters or Dick Sean, people of that nature. Nobody changed comedy more than Jonathan Winters. Jonathan Winters, I remember when I was getting started in this business, they were doing a picture over at Paramount. Uh, Stanley Kramer was doing it. He had every comedian in the world was in that picture. And I used to have the Mater D at the Paramount Commissary just seat me with my back to their table. <laughs> and they would tell joke after joke joke after joke until Jonathan arrived and once Jonathan arrived Jonathan took over the table because he didn't tell jokes he just and but he was inventive he invited you into his world and he populated his world he changed comedy it was very great. May I introduce you to Myra Van Hoos, who's sitting next to you? I played golf with Myra Van Hoos in, in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, at the J&B Scotch Pro-Am. 